What's up, everybody? Welcome back to GG Dig Site. Today, I got a new game for you. This is Oros by Brant Brinkerhoff and Lucky Duck Games. Um, I don't know a ton about this game. It's relatively recently released. Um, Flavor Text here says, Be an all-powerful demigod in an ever-shifting world. Oros is a strategy board game about humankind's ancient pursuit of hidden knowledge and power. As a mighty demigod, you must compete with other players to continually shape the landscape, build sacred sites on mountains, transform your wisdom into powerful abilities, and ascend to higher knowledge. Um, seems like a really interesting strategy game. One thing that really caught my eye just in the display of this is you've got some uh, interesting data points here uh, for the game where it shows you the strategy level, the player interaction level, um, which I thought was interesting, and then like a rating of the complexity um, and the total number of players. Um, and then also basically that there's minimal random chance, something that I'm a big fan of, uh, particularly in strategy games. Um, so, all right, without further ado, let's take a look inside. All right, finally, Whew, there we go. So, rule book. This is a serious one, chapter book here. Um, obviously, with most strategy games, you're going to have some complex strategies available to you. Everything looks pretty easy to read, good pictograms and everything, nice and clean. Um, but we'll take up a little bit of your time. Obviously, there's some tips and tricks there, and quick reference symbol guide. Wow, the punch outs. Punch outs, punch outs. Okay, so most of that's going to be cardboard. Um, so we'll check those out and give them the one thumb test here in just a minute. Uh, player cards. This looks like what this is. Maybe for each individual player. We have a pyramid here. Two sides. This looks like one player, right? And then four players. Let's see what else we've got here. This is a folding cardboard board. Which way do we go? Ah, this way. Double sided once again. Um, hopefully that indicates double possibilities in terms of games and scenarios. We got a pack of cards. We have a little tablet of note sheets, maybe, or scorekeeping sheets, probably, more likely. And then the real goodies, some meeples. Oh, hey, yeah, do not eat. All right, um, yeah, well, let's take a look at this stuff first, and we'll just kind of work our way backwards. Here you have an empty bag. Yay, all right. Let's take a look at, we'll combine all of these. These all sim seem to be similar style pieces here for individual players. Um, so it looks like we have some, oh, there's the other ones. Looks like we have some yellow, blue, green, and orange. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the blues out. Uh, these are, from what I can tell on the back of the box, these are little markers that move along your player board. Um, pretty small, little painted wooden pieces. Uh, they're fine. Could be used for other things if you needed it. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of each color. There are also corresponding colors of meeples. Once again, for your player board, and then probably go into play. Ah, so something interesting here. There seems to be a very particular uh, symbol for each one. The green symbol is kind of like a pitchfork. And then a triangle with a little wave, a triangle with a V. And 
kind of looks like a baseball, you tell me, um, for the yellow player there. And then what I believe to be, yep, volcanoes. So these are numbered volcano pieces. All of these are little wooden um, painted pieces with painted numbers. The ones are the smallest. They get bigger with two, three, and four. These are the ones that look like they're about to erupt, I'm assuming. Um, so all this is going to look really nice on the board. Uh, you know, I've been really impressed with Lucky Duck Games and their inserts uh, lately with things that I've looked at, and this doesn't fail to impress. Some little stands, uh, little like player marker stands, probably for some of the cardboard pieces. Um, symbols again for each one of the teams, which leads me to believe this is a scorecard because there's one of each of the symbols at the top, quite a few of them. They are double-sided, which is always nice. And then pack of cards. Let's take a look in there. Okay, backs of the cards seem to be team specific in terms of each set. The front has images of the folding cardboard board, lots of symbols, no reading required, um, but obviously lots of symbols associated with each one of those. So pieces there, middle piece, player boards. Green player board has a punch out. Yes. Interesting. Okay, you got Oh, this side says competitive, and this side doesn't. Different modes, perhaps. Each one has an interesting little pairing of punch outs at the top where perhaps they connect in some form or fashion. Big fan of the gold and purple kind of theme. The living sun demigod is probably going to be one of my choices early on. And then punch outs. All right. Hey, another snack. Just kidding. Don't eat. Um, whoa. Whoa. One thumb test. I'd say that's a pass. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. Nice. One finger. Oh, yeah. Very good. Seems to be punch out for each individual player character and very thick cardboard. Um, not even your typical like punch out thickness. I would say these are like double thick. Um, so going to be nice and sturdy. They're good and chunky. If that's something, um, that you're into, everything seems to be similar on those two. Let's take a look at these similar thickness and everything. Some interesting little squares. They all punch out nice and easy player tokens. I'm guessing that's what goes in your little stand. Boom. Okay, this guy looks like he might be a bad guy. Or a good guy. Unless you're trying to get out. Um, yeah. So, in general, I would say solid pieces. Really, really high-end punch-outs in general. A uh, lot of stuff in the box. A lot of reading to do uh, to figure out what's going on. But... If you're looking for some interesting pieces, at least, you're going to get some with Oros. Once I have an opportunity to go through and uh, give this a couple playthroughs, I will get back with you on a review. But as of right now, I'm saying things are looking pretty good. 
Um, if you enjoy this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so that we know you want to see more of it. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one. GG.